Welcome to hopefully what will be a long line of Let's Plays. I will be playing Appleseed, a game which never got released outside of Japan for the Super Nintendo system. The game isn't bad, I can't think of any major reason why it wasn't released outside of Japan. Anyway, I skipped this part because I can't read Japanese and it's virtually pointless. Stage 1. You can choose your character, you can either choose Biarros or Juno New. I chose Biarros for the first level. And you get to choose your gun, either a machine gun or a bazooka. I chose a bazooka for the first level, it comes in quite handy later on. Anyway, you get to the gameplay, you get to jump, you get your grenades, a handgun, and your bazooka, which I chose. Look at the balls on this soldier, he's charging at a cyborg with a bazooka with a knife. Now that takes some balls. One of the problems with playing as Biarritz is he's so tall, sometimes your shots will miss the enemy. Another guy with a knife. The graphics are pretty good for an NES game. The explosions are pretty detailed and the uh, backgrounds, well for this level aren't particularly detailed but you'll see in later levels that they can get pretty good. Here's a minor problem with the game, uh, you know it doesn't tell you what you're supposed to do at times and it took me a while to figure out that I actually had to throw a grenade at that spot in the floor. It took me five minutes first time playing this game, I actually had to do that. There was a couple of guys which I just quickly dispatched with a grenade. Shoot this spot here to release a ledge. Music's actually quite good, I mean, you got techno in a power plant level. Go over here and collect this very important key card. If you miss it, you'll end up having to backtrack through the level and the enemies do respawn. And here's our other kind of bad guy for the level, he's some kind of guy in some kind of mechanical suit who shoots at you. We can just take care of him by shooting him with our bazooka. And here's some, just me walking around taking care of some minor foot, foot soldiers. Jump up and down, shoot this guy. Oh, electrical wise you have to be careful with that, you take quite a bit of damage if you're not careful. Try and jump. Ooh, get hit there. Shoot this guy. Here's another guy in a mechanical suit. Take care of him. Jump down here. And here's a guy flying. Just shoot him. Take, give it a stab. Here, yeah, take care of him. Open the door. That's where the card key comes in handy. Along here. Get okay, this guy. Get some more guys. Getting near towards the end of the level. It's time for the boss battle. Our boss for this level is this weird helicopter thing which flies around shooting you and occasionally tries to ram you. You can simply overcome this boss by jumping over him when he ra try and rams you and to making sure to dodge, dodge his machine gun fire and shooting him with your bazooka. One handy thing in this game is no matter how much damage you take during the level, they always put you up to full health for the boss battle, so if you're very cack handed, they'll just simply put, put you up to your full health so you have a fair chance of taking out the boss. Now here's the problem with the arrows being a little bit too tall. Sometimes you'll notice during this boss battle that my bazooka shots gave me missing and that's because Bioris is so tall that they overshoot him a bit. Just keep laying on the bazooka fire, hopefully you'll do more damage to him than he does to you and just rinse and repeat until he eventually dies. Yeah, have some of this. I just noticed the background and how... Ooh, he cheap shots me there how basically the background moves with you that we will never hit there should be going down soon weakening a bit and continue laying on the fire goes down helicopter blows up and he guys some guy in a wheelchair who flies off 
more storyline, I didn't bother reading it. And stage two. Back to our character selection screen. That's the end of part one. Hopefully I'll see you in part two. Welcome back to my part two of Let's Play Appleseed. For part two I will be playing as Gene and Newt. Anyway, for this level is more like a building site than the last one, which was more like a power plant. Anyway, for this level requires a bit more backtracking than the previous level, and even I get lost at times. Go down and press this button, or shoot it, should I say. I mean, these guys are pretty stupid. I mean, they can uh, practically crawl up to them, and they keep missing you. Anyway, I shot this so I can unlock some gates somewhere else back up here, more walking and back up these elevators, go along here and then switch the grenades and throw it against this wall which blows it up I think. The, anyway, more about Juden New, the uh, gameplay is slightly different, I mean slightly shorter than the Arios, so that means if you duck most of the uh, shots will miss you and uh, you'll be alright. I think the Arios can take slightly more damage and his weapons do slightly give slightly more damage. Anyway, back up here and along this bit and we'll take care of some bad guys along here. Put back to the grenades and take care of this wall. Uh, handy piece of advice. Jump keep jumping up here, switch to the bazooka and shoot this guy here. You won't have to take unnecessary damage. Walk along here and go up this elevator. Duck and then shoot this guy with your bazooka. And that's our favourite man, the man with a knife. Run up to you and stab you. Stab you in the neck, you will. Here's me going the wrong way. I only just realised when I came to that electrical bit later on. Uh, then I realised I had to go back up the uh, elevator. Hmm, maybe I should have known where I was actually going at this time. So a little bit backtracking had to go on. What a what a cheap shot there. Barely had enough time to react there. Got your standard goons here. Just shoot them and they'll hopefully die. And then you go along here and shoot this weird switch thing, which will do something later on, I have no idea. Go back up here, and then you have to face some me some mechanical walking death tank. And the only strategy I have to offer you is stand here, switch to your bazooka, and shoot her, shoot it until it eventually dies. You can do more damage him than he'll do to you, but you'll take a lot of damage this during this part here. Flick this switch, and then you go down here and and do what you normally do: general exploration and shooting bad guys. Then you have my favourite unit, the man with the knife. Yeah, never bring a knife to a gunfight. Dipstick. When you turn red, that means you've taken a lot of damage and your character's down to at least half their health. And one thing I do like in this game is they give you unlimited continue, so if you die, they allow you to continue and get to switch your weapon, which is a very good thing in this game. I'm not quite sure why they didn't export it to the US or the UK. Mm, something for you to think about. Anyways, back to where I started from so I can switch that switch that was behind that door. Down this elevator. Walk along here, take care of some more bad guys, and down this elevator here. Some more gentle backtracking and followed by some more backtracking. Makes you wish you had a run button at times so I could just quickly run for all this part here. But that's the only minor gripe I can have with this game, apart from the aforementioned not telling you what you have to do at times. This the only reason why I know where I'm going is because I played through this level beforehand. Which I'm kind of thankful because you know if I didn't I would probably end up wandering around for quite a bit. Jump in there and shoot this respawning bad guy again. Have some. That was a handy trick. You can just simply quick bypass a small portion of this and just jump up here. 
Anyway, here's me walking again, wishing I had a run button. Anyway, here's why I was thankful I did that a bit earlier. You know, you have to go up here, shoot some more bad guys up here, and then take care not to get sh hit by their grenades. Here's a new guy. A guy laying down with machine gun. You have to take him out by throwing grenades at him. It should take about two grenades to get die. And then you just simply shoot this guy here, and there should be another new bad guy. A weird squid-like jellyfish thing that shoots lightning at you. Anyway, he's a piece of piss to take care of. Just shoot him once and he should die. And we have our knife guy back again. Yay, go knife guy. Trying to stab Junior Newt. You just shoot him and he should die. Anyway, you go down here and take care of all the bad guys down here and shoot and flick switches and do what you normally do best. Anyway, you go down this elevator and then you switch to your grenade and take care of this wall. So, some more walking along here and taking care of some bad guys. And then you take care of another wall and some more bad guys. And the best way to do that is to throw grenades at them. Handy grenades, you get unlimited supply of them though. Which is quite weird. I thought you would have given, been given a certain limited amount, but it's useful that they don't. And also, it's quite weird that they don't give you any health items that the enemies drop when you take care of them. So, you know, you have to be very careful about how you take damage. But, like I said, you know, they at least have the common decency to restore your health when you come to the bosses, which is very, very useful. Especially for this boss, which is a pain in the ass, I'll tell you that for starters. It took me a while to beat him, but I'll show you that when I get to him. Anyway, you take care of this switch and then some enemies magically spawn out of the wall for some odd reason. And then you shoot these guys in the nuts. <laughs> shooting, shooting them in the nuts is funny. And then you go down this elevator, shoot some more wall panel things and do re, re, rinse and repeat until you eventually complete the level. Now here's a very annoying bit with the enemies respawn. I just go down here and you'll find out why. And this guy is very annoying because I have to sw quickly switch the grenades and shoot it, throw the grenades at him. See what I mean? They, re they respawn right next to you, so you have to quickly, you have to be on your toes during this bit. Quickly flick this switch and then go up here and shoot some more wall panels and so on and so forth. Now there's a bit that I was bang for I was tuning new acts. If I'm Biarios here, you can't shoot this switch down here, so I'm partly thankful for that. And more respawning bad guys here. Like I said, stay on your toes at this point. And then you go off and do what you normally been doing. You end up having to go off and go to another point in the map. I'm trying to remember where I have to go at this point. And then I realised at this point I was going in the wrong direction again. It's kind of confusing this level. You know, like I said earlier, I keep getting where I have to go at this point. And yet again, I'm going in the wrong direction. This level, like I said, is very, very confusing. And, uh, and uh, I'm getting near towards the end of this level anyway. And then I get quickly ambushed here, but thanks to my large amount of gaming skill, I'm able to quickly take care of these guys. Hey, have some. Switch to the grenade and take care of another wall. I think that's what maybe the sixth, seventh I've had to take care of during this level, and what three switches I've had to do, and maybe seven of those uh, wall things I have to keep shooting. And then you go along here and take care of more bad guys and by shooting them and throwing grenades at them. And, and then you jump down here and take the elevator. Unfortunately, I realised quickly I'm going in the wrong direction again. That's what we've done during this level that I'm headed into the wrong direction. What I should be doing at this precise moment is actually going down the elevator to the left and pick up the uh, car key which will open the end of the level and open the boss stage, like I said. And then I have to quickly take care of the 
weird jellyfish mechanical thing, like I said, which is bolt, bolt lightning at you. And then, like I said, down this, down this elevator to pick up the card key. Damn it. Anyway, I'm near towards the end of this, so I'll see you in the boss battle. Which will, will take a while, I'll tell you that for starters. I wish I had that run button. This would take probably half the time, this level would have probably taken half the time if I had a run button. But anyway, I constantly keep bringing that up for some odd reason. Anyway, back up these elevators and hopefully this is the end. It's the boss time, baby. Welcome back to my Let's Play Apple Seed. This is the boss of stage two. Now this boss is probably three times as hard as a boss that I faced in first level. It actually took me 15 minutes to beat him and I ended up having to use save states to get past him. You'll probably notice that the level. Uh, anyway, the best way to beat this boss is to go as far to the left as possible, fire him with your bazooka, and then then it'll do this weird sort of sending his balls into the air. And then you'll just simply have to go to the right and then move back to the left and hopefully shoot him in between the uh, ball when the balls try and go out here. And also try to avoid his lightning attack because that will devastate your health if he hits you with it. And anyway, the uh, best way is to just jump over the weird ball lightning thing at those weird drones, I would guess they are send out to you and just constantly rinse and repeat until you eventually take him out. Jump over and shoot and jump over and yet again rinse and repeat like I said just before. Uh, like I say, this boss has three attacks. You've got the weird drone which you I guess balls at you. The, when the drone jump in the air they go they shoot them out and then he has his lightning things, the lightning and the drone are the two that you should avoid at all costs. They will cut your health enough, you'll see that later on. The weird uh, bald lightning attacks, they don't hurt you as much, but they still should try and avoid them at best. Now you've noticed that for the last two levels I actually used a bazooka. That's because I find the machine gun to be a bit clumsy at times. You can't jump while firing and uh, you also can't move while shooting, which is a minor problem I have with it. Like in, let's say for instance, Contra, you can move and shoot and aim in different directions. And also another thing that I don't like about this, this is probably the last thing that I have a problem with, is that they don't give you enough choices in guns, like in the previous mentioned Contra game. You get all sorts of weapons like spread guns, uh, heat seekers, and other kind of missiles, and some kind of big devastating attack. So, anyway, uh, that's my only major problems with it you know, lack of a run button, you know, not a choice of weapons, and found lack of heal, healing items between levels. Sometimes you can get easily lost in a level, but like I said, that's the only problem that I have. I can't see why they didn't export it over to America or the UK. Mm. Something for you to think about. Maybe it's because of the uh, games that they were producing, or maybe it's because it came out quite later on in the Super Nintendo's life cycle. Mm. Like I said, it's something for you to think about. Jump over this and continue rinse and repeat like I said. Here it comes, more electrical attacks, more you know, raining down from the heavens and you see certain gaming skills, I miss all of them coming up here. Ain't I ain't I lucky? Apart from that one there and now you see I'm down to roughly half my health. Now he's hitting quite a few times with his electrical and drone attacks, so that means roughly now he can hit me once more before I die. So, you know, at least they have the common decency to send you to the 
back in the boss level, I ended up using save states, so I didn't have to. You're probably noticing my editing skills right here. So, pretty much, it's they have the common decency to let you choose your guns over again if you want to play it fairly. I didn't want to actually get past this level. Mm. It's more jumping and shooting at this person for drones. Mm. Mm. Now, with this person, this, with this machine, it's very difficult to tell how much health he has left. I roughly reckon it takes about 50 or so shots to take him down. Quite unfair because five of his or five of his or so can at least kill you instead of it on the unbalanced side. Then the first boss, which I easily took down in one try. This guy I think I ended up using like maybe six or seven safe states just to beat him. You'll see I've beat one previously. God damn it! Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully without getting killed. Here's a quick question to think about. Where's the Arios while well, Junior Nukes taking care of this uh, weird evil computer thing? Is he out, you know, getting his uh, robotic parts uh, serviced by the nearest computer service dude? I don't know. That's something for you to think about. Ah, crap! You know, Junior Nuke taking care of the evil terrorist forces while. Yarios goes off and gets his heart serviced. I just thought because they're a, a somewhat implied couple in the uh, comic book or manga, uh, you know, that they would actually be careful to stay together like they do in the comics, but, you know, it's something to think about. Anyway, while I've been talking, I've ended up having to use extra number of safe states because this guy is so really unbalanced. Uh, with the previous boss, you know, I could easily dodge some of his attacks. With this one, the best thing I can suggest is keep moving and don't stop until his attacks are over. Anyway, uh, what else can I say about him? Uh, the bull's attacks are easy to avoid. The you, know, you can jump over him, but you wouldn't want to because you wouldn't be able to hit him if you jumped over his attack. So, do the previous state strategy of moving to the right and to the left while turning the back at you. You can see me do. Just keep laying on the fire. Hopefully, you'll wear him down slowly, but it'll probably weigh you down a lot quicker. Avoid these lightning attacks previously, and hopefully, it won't hit you. Anyway, I'll be cutting this off soon, so because I previously stayed, this took me so long, I ended up having to cut it in two parts. So I'll see you hopefully in part two. Oh. Welcome back to my let's play Apple Seed. Yeah, this is the part two of the boss for stage two. As previously stated, this took so long, I ended up having to break it up into two seven-minute videos because of YouTube's ten-minute limit. Anyway, just keep dodging these attacks using my amazing skill. Just make sure don't get hit, especially me, because because of all the damage I received. You know, if I get hit once more by his electrical drone attacks, I'll be killed. In fact, I've taken so much damage. Eventually, the uh, the weird electrical attacks the drones send out eventually start uh, killing me. Just jump over these, continue to hit him. I have no idea how many shots I need to take and take him down. Bastard! All I can say is thank why I have this save state, so I would I would have never gotten past this with all my marbles intact. So like I said, this guy's very unbalanced, his attacks are very devastating to my owl. Asshole! That's seven times now, and like I said, blessed are the ones with safe states. Anyway, just continue wailing on him with my bazooka. Eventually, he'll wear him down. Get some more 
drones attack. Drones attack. And continue on. Mm. Yeah, come on, have some. Oh, please. I'm trying to think what this guy looks like. An evil parking meter. Some bowling balls to bend him. Anyway, just continue jumping over. And shoot him. And cock bag. That's eight bastard times that he's done that. Face it, I think there's a lot more crap to I have to deal with from this bad guy. About three quarters of the way there, so hopefully it won't take much longer. Obviously it's another about six minutes or so that until I defeat him. Hmm. Shame they don't give you like a health bar for him or something like that. Or even for me that would have been useful, but I'd I think I'm just utterly repeating myself now. So I'll just continue wailing on him again. Cock monkey! Jesus Christ, how much this guy can certainly dish out? Try my best to avoid the, this guy's attack and, and he's got me again, bastard. Jesus Christ, what can, what, do, what more do I need to do to take this guy out? I keep hitting him and he keeps taking it up. I've got like now, can't I just simply use an ultra powerful devastating attack against him, like blowing? You know, I'm keep hitting him with my bazooka, and he still keeps taking it. God damn it. Anyway, dodge these, keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Bullshit! And we get to the moment where near enough my health is completely out, and the only thing keeping me alive is the save states. Thank God. Anyway, we just continue hitting him with my bazooka, dodging his. It's hard for me to comment. I mean, this fuck battle was fun for the first five minutes, but now it's just getting really monotonous. I mean, it would be fun if something different happened, but it's just the same thing over and over again, and it's getting really, really boring. Come on, can do some more lightning attacks. Dodge him. Come on. Come on. Bob! Jesus Christ! Come on. Jesus Christ! Hey! Come on, man. Yeah, get him some shots. Come on. Anyway, we're we'll back to my usual strategy of constantly shooting with the bazooka and jumping over these usual standard attacks. Come on. It's just... And we keep hitting him. Ah, crap! Just hit him again. Hang it. Oh. What's this gonna be over? Stop! Shit in a bucket! Oh. Man, I wish I had some kind of super ultra devastating attack that I could just use right now and wipe out half his health right now. Come on! Just die, will you? Ah, oh, he's gone down to his usual weakened state. Come on, hit him! Ah, bastard! Will you just die already? Yay, got him! Ah, bollocks! Ah, oh, it's getting hard to comment now. Getting really monotonous. Like I said, this this was fun for the first couple of minutes. Now it's just getting really, really boring. 
so times now Ugh. and I'm back to the usual dodge and attack routine Ugh. how much more do I have to do nuts uh. ah cocksucker will he die already like I've shot near enough half the German artillery at him. He still, oh, he still isn't dying. It's arguably has to be oh, one of the most hardest bosses I've ever had to face. Will he die already? Duh. Oh. God for that. Welcome back to my Let's Play Appleseed World, part 3 now, or stage 3. And this one's slightly different, it's almost like a sewer level kind of thing. Just back to just facing uh, countless terrorist people. You know, walk around. For this one I used the machine gun. I know I said earlier it's a bit clumsy, but that was for that particular boss. And that's a pretty okay gun. Let's go around and shoot this guy. Some more ducking. I notice there's actually three different types of terrorists. You've got ones who just throw grenades at you and you... Uh, ones that... You know, ones with handguns. They can duck, shoot you and... Ones with machine guns. You've also got... the guy with the knife there and also you have the guys in those weird flying suits that can shoot you from diagonally but also you've got the guys in the that weird battle suit which appeared on that previous bit when I was walking around that was protecting that weird leather thing now this bit if I hadn't gone down here the level would have been over a little bit quicker it's sort of a trap thing where you have to go down here and take out the thing. Some more terrorists. And just basically go down here and take and walk up to that uh, weird red button thing there. I wasn't sure I activated, so I just threw some grenades at it, just to make sure. And then we go back up here, which cost me a buck. And then we just simply walk and jump and more jumping. And more jumping. Oh, come on! Yeah, we're back up here. Oh, I want to get back down there. More throwing grenades at terrorists. Guy with the, oh, there's another one. Guy who lays down with the machine gun. I forgot to mention him. He actually comes up quite a bit now. Take out three and one. Now, I didn't actually realise the cameras actually were part of the level, I just thought they were part of the background. Walk along here and take some more terrorists out. And you have to be... No, I didn't realise you had to actually duck right there. So... 
You have to hold down then move to the right. Now, I actually didn't realise you could actually walk past some of the bad guys here. More gentle exploration of the level. And a card key. Walk back to the left. And then we go constantly move to the left. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. That's a bit of a surprise. It's more taking out the terrorists. Hmm. So, moving to the right now. All three of the aforementioned bad guys. And the Electra jellyfish thing. Down here, guy with a knife. Let's make sure there wasn't a secret passage there. Throw some grenades. The Yaris is doing the duck walk. <laughs> the duck walk. some more grenades at terrorists. And they kill them in like one hit. Rather than like two or three. Go down here. There's a card key up there. I'm wondering how to get it. Hmm. Shooting some more terrorists. This is a game if you love shooting terrorists. You just go around shooting everything there is. Hmm. I'm wondering if I shoot one of these cameras I can get up there. Whoa! Shit! Uh... What the hell was that? I near enough got killed then! Hmm. I'm wondering if I shoot any more of these cameras I get so I cool. This guy, and I guess the boss. Whoa! Oh, this guy. This guy is hard. Get the arrows with his gun, and I guess the only strategy now is to just shoot him until he eventually, to eventually beat him, or he beats me. Uh, he keeps hitting me with his gun, bastard. Come on, die! Ooh, another hit. Come on. Ooh. What well, I can tell this guy has probably three main attacks. Sort of one way he just shoots him, another way he just hit the arrows with his gun and do another one where he just Sprays everywhere. Mm, not doing very well at this boss. I should really come up with a better strategy, but I'm near enough dead, so mm, it doesn't really matter. Who he hits me again. And again! That's quite actually bad for my health. Other attacks. Come on. Ooh, he hits me and I'm dead. The arrow dies. Wait, why is it continuing in why is it continuing English? Shouldn't it be in Japanese? Ah oh, never mind. Anyway, here's me taking on the boss for stage three again. I employed a different strategy than the previous one. Instead of going for the usual shoot at him until he dies, I decided to come in close and take him out with grenades. Well that would be slightly better. And also I started deciding to jump over his major attacks. Anyway I just continue throwing just continue throwing
throwing fucking grenades at him. Weeding his sort gun, his pistol whip attack. Continue throwing grenades. Ooh, he got me there. Continue throwing more grenades at him. Game skills dodges, punches, and tries to give me twice there. Alright, more about Biarios here. You know, if you've watched my Apple CD Machina review, you know that he's a cyborg who's sort of in love with Jude and New a bit, or I think their boyfriend and girlfriend, their relationship isn't properly defined in the comic books or movies. Ooh, he gets me there. That punch is actually quite devastating for the hat. My owl. Um, simply go around here, jump over his attacks, and continue. Jump over here. Find the grenades. Didn't get me there, you son of a bitch. Just keep dodging. Didn't get me there. Oh, when he got me there. Quite fast and furious game. Oh, he got me there. Quite fast and furious gameplay, wouldn't you say? That's better. This boss is better than the last one. around a bit, I'm not stood in one place, waiting for my opportunity to attack. All in all, this isn't a bad boss battle. I'm using my head to stay alive and you know, he's giving me a fair chance to beat him. Yeah, he got me there. Three times in a row. I'm not sure if this is some kind of cyborg or he's, he's just some kind of super terrorist kind of thing. You know, in the world of the Apple Seed, you're never quite sure of these things. Go around for more grenades at him. Kind of dodges attacks. Jump over these. Jump over. Make some more grenades. What can I comment on? It's just dodge, destroy, and dodge and destroy kind of strategy. Didn't get me there. Continue throwing more grenades at him. Gets me there. I've been wearing him down quite a bit now, so. And we throw some more grenades at him. I think it took quite a bit of damage now. Come on. Ooh, I'm right now. Come on. Why is he dying? Throwing enough grenades in to blow up a small building. Christ, this guy can take a lot of damage. So can be Arios. Hmm. Throw some more grenades. Ooh, and he gets me there. Cheat shot. Come on, die already. Come on. Why aren't you dying? 
annoying. Yes, I killed him. Have some. I'm your daddy now. Uh, what do I do now? They might have glitched on me. Right. This is the uh, let's play of stage 4 now. Now, this level is where the problem of me not being able to shoot diagonally comes into play because it's on this weird conveyor belt kind of thing where I end up having to jump from one level into the other. Fair choose, I didn't know what I was actually doing during this, what I had to do during this level, so I just ended up going to the right. I'm trying to avoid getting killed. Oh yeah, and I'm playing with the orange with the machine gun if you haven't noticed. So pretty much dodge these guys and keep shooting and try and stay alive. So pretty much what we do in the last couple of levels. Now And anyway, uh this level I only have two enemies. I've got those weird uh, android like squids. I mean jellyfish and those weird guys with jetpacks on them. So pretty much it's a reasonably good and fun level this one is, except for not being able to shoot diagonally like in certain other games. Now things get a little boring right now. Where are the enemies? They all disappeared all of a sudden. Come on. Oh, come on. Where is everybody gone? Ah, oh, there they are. Have some. Come on. And... Dodge these guys. Come on. Fast and Furious gameplay. All I can say is, Contra, I would say it's a bit harder than this, but this is certainly a bit more. But Contra is a little bit more fun than this. Mm. It's slightly more easier. Come on. And here we go, here's our jetpack guy, and I quickly took him out. And then... Die. Same thing over and over again, just dodge jellyfish and dodge the guy in the jetpacks and move to the right. And I'm trying to not get killed on the RS because he's I think he can take slightly more damage, I think that isn't a problem. Die. 
Anyway, uh, keep jumping. Shoot these guys. And we got our jetpack guy back again. I still can't think why this wasn't a call to go to the US or the UK. We now see there's a really well known uh, manga going to the uh, US and UK market, so I don't see why they couldn't sell it around. But it's not particularly bad, I mean, playable, which is occasionally a bit boring. And we're back to you. the right. You must move to the right. Okay. And we've got our jetpack guy. Jetpack guy back again. And we take him out before I could mention about him. Take this guy out. Take out Android Jellyfish. How weird can you get? A giant machine gun. I use grenades against him but miss him. So let's give that plan up. And we continue moving to the right, taking out these more jellyfish. these guys and we got to the end of the level mm, some more cutscenes wait a minute there's no boss to this level mm, not that big of a bigger complaint mm. now before I get this this let's play started I would like to make a special thanks to Kong Fu Furby Thanks to some advice that he gave me, this level became a lot easier and he told me by holding L or R I can actually shoot diagonally so the previous complaint in the uh, last level is now null and void. So thanks and you get this Aaron big one thumbs up that I did not totally throw together in under 5 seconds under paint. Anyway if you've been following this let's play you'll know that I'm on stage 5 now and I'll be playing as Judah Newt for this level. No. Anyway, the weird thing is about Appleseed is because this weekend I was actually working and I actually brought in my PS2 and I actually brought in on Sunday I brought in Appleseed and watched the CG movie of it and then on Sunday today that I actually brought in Appleseed X Machina and I watched them both over this weekend so that's something rather weird that has something connected with this. Anyway, we've got this very long elevator ride up here. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. How long is this? Ah, oh, we're up here. Come on. Throw your grenades at this guy. 
Now is the advice of shooting diagonally. Negative Kung Fu Furby. Go up here. Now, I didn't... First time I actually kept jumping over that bit, I thought I had to go above that and to the left, and I kept falling down to my death. And I'm going in the wrong direction now. Very careful here if you're taking this jump here. So if you get it wrong, you could hit that electric beam there and fall to your death, or end up having to backtrack quite a bit. Jump over here. Jump up here. Spider Man, could I couldn't hit that guy with any grenades? Oh no, it's a very complicated bit. Come on. perfectly or else you end up falling down and probably to your death or you'll take serious amounts of damage and end up having to do that very long complicated bit all over again. Now another timing bit and damn 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 Okay jump up here jump up here and jump up here and take care of this weird jelly electric thing. Jump! Damn! I know! Safe stay! Ha! And bullshit! Come on. Damn it! And come on, Junie, you can do it! You're the woman! Damn! Crap, crap. So what attempts this now? Is it what? Five, six? Now, jump up here. Yay, did it. Now jump over here. Come on, I can take you down. Okay, jump, jump up here. Okay, I can't shoot him up here. I have to jump up and shoot him. Aha, got ya. And we jump up here. out here. Oops. Okay, up some more elevators. And we have this weird green doo doo. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Jump. Damn. I oh, know. Aha, safe state. We have to get the timing right here. Come on. And. Yes, did it. Ah. Come on, shoot me. I'm Jimmy New and I'm in the red. And. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. Now we got this and. Ah. Time for the boss battle. And it's Spider Robot. Spider Robot. Spider Robot. Does whatever a Spider Robot does. And we just shoot him with the machine gun. Um, and he's charging at me so far, so that's one attacker he has. Ooh, he's got me there. And he's still charging me. And he has an electrical attack. Ooh, he got me there. 
and Ooh, he got me there but as well. So he's got a charge attack, a web attack. So he's like Spider-Man, the robot. More electrical stuff. It's a really deep new techno for the background music. Ooh, he got me there. On the web attack. Ooh, that was slower than usual. And we just continue to shoot with my machine gun. So to wear him down. Jump over these. Ooh, that was faster than usual. And jump over these. Keep jumping. Come on, jump over this. Be careful because these change speed. And he got me there. Bastard. Oh, son of a bitch. And I'm dead. I know. I'll come back with a bigger gun. Now I've dusted myself off again, and now I'm having another try to kick Spider Robot's ass using the bazooka this time. Or well, I would kick his ass if it wasn't the fact that he's a robot and he doesn't have an ass. But anyway, here's one problem with using the bazooka that that all the uh, shots actually overshoot him so I have to duck to shoot him this time. I just shoot him, duck, jump over his attacks. Music isn't that bad. Jump over here. Jump. Keep shooting him. Spider robot. Who keeps using that weird electrical web attack. And also, if you hold the R1 while jumping, you can actually shoot downwards and diagonal. Quite weird. Oh, he got me there. Come on. Have some. Blow him away, only the strongest. Okay, not me singing. Uh, just continue shooting at him. Oh, and shoot at him. Jump over here. Jump over this one. Uh, ooh, he didn't get me there. Oh, he got me there. Quite a bit of damage now. All he needs is out. Oh yeah, baby! Die, baby! And we have a slight mo comic book montage, or manga as it should be called. Doing a newt there. Oh, isn't that sweet? PR and June and Newt hugging. You know, cyborg and human love, isn't it sweet? And I can't skip this bit here, so. And they go off and live happily ever after in human and cyborg love. Isn't that cute? As the credits roll, I can't think of any major reasons why this game wasn't shipped over to the US and the UK. I mean, the game's playable as you saw, I mean, it's a little bit on the short side. I think it took me a grand total of like an hour or so to play through the play through the game. And you know, it's a bit on the easy side. But you know, Appleseed was a partially established franchise over in the UK with the manga and the anime that came out with it. And you know, I'll just leave you now with the credits rolling. Bye and thanks for watching. The let's me playing through Appleseed.